there is a, a, around 600 of altcoins already. Yes. And uh, about 100 of altcoins went to zero already. So how do you... Well, they didn't go to zero. They went to 0 0.00000015. <laughs> Someone still has them. Yeah, but how, how, uh, how do you know or how do you believe that uh, the Bitcoin is not the case of another altcoin? How do you, what, what is the difference between, for example, Bitcoin and, I don't know, Litecoin or uh, another, another uh, cryptocurrency? Uh, uh, why, we, do you, why do you prefer Bitcoin? We did it first. We did it best. We've got the absolute best development team in the industry, the most intelligent, amazing scientists, engineers, software engineers, and development teams that are building amazing stuff every day. And I can barely keep up, keep up. You know, just when I think it's like, okay, I'm done reading for the day, and somebody drops segregated witness on me or some new innovation, and I'm amazed again. So I mean here's the other important thing which people don't realize is that Bitcoin today is not what Bitcoin was in 2009. It's the same name, it's the same 21 million coin cap, it's more or less the same transaction structure, but a lot of other things have changed quite dramatically. One of the stories of scaling is that sometimes the only thing that scales is the brand. I'm 44 years old, not a single cell in my body is one that I was born with. They've all been replaced by now. They're all gone. All that remains is the pattern. Right? And so when I was in college, they said Ethernet can't scale to one megabit, and Ethernet can't scale beyond five megabit, and Ethernet can't scale beyond ten megabit. Ethernet is a networking system, if you're not aware. And I installed Ethernet that was a coaxial cable as thick as my thumb, and it could only go 100 meters, and it could only do five meg. And today, all of the local area networks run on Ethernet that can now do 10 gig over fiber. But how much of that is really Ethernet, and how much of that is just the word Ethernet attached to what we made it into? Because it's a different distribution medium, a different architecture. The only things that are really the same are maybe the frame size and the brand. So one of the issues that you have to reconcile yourself with is that Bitcoin 15 years ago may only 15 years from now may only share with today's Bitcoin three or four fundamental properties, a 21 million coin cap. That's not going away. If that goes away, it's not Bitcoin. But that, the brand name, and some basic architecture characteristics, everything else may change. Everything else may be completely revised, and we'll just still call it Bitcoin. So, um, I don't believe that we need to worry too much, but altcoins to me are a very important part of the ecosystem. And in fact, the more we have and the more they experiment, the better it is. Something really important happened this year. People fled Bitcoin into Ethereum, and that was awesome. That was awesome. Because all of the previous times when they fled Bitcoin, they left the cryptocurrency economy. And this time, they sw simply switched lanes. <laughs> they didn't abandon cryptocurrencies. They left Bitcoin and went into Ethereum to see what the other side is doing. Look at what's going on over there. They're not fighting yet. <laughs> They're still scaling for now. And look, it's all cozy and nice, and they've got contracts and smart stuff. They also have humans, and human nature always prevails. And so pretty soon you're going to see some interesting things like the ones we have in Bitcoin happen. Bitcoin was fine. It was scaling fine in 2012. Nobody was arguing then. <laughs> so the bottom line is that um, we're now keeping people in the cryptocurrency space. And as people went to Ethereum and the price went up, new people came in from the outside who, in order to buy Ethereum, because they didn't believe that Bitcoin was a good medium of exchange, first bought Bitcoin to use it as a medium of exchange to buy Ethereum. <laughs> and so we'll see how it goes, but I'm very optimistic.